I don't know if you have ever struggled and thought, I just don't really think my life represents Christianity well. Maybe I let Christianity look bad, actually, because my life feels too messy to really say that I'm a Christian. Um, and I just want to encourage you that that actually might be a good place to be. Um, not that we want to stay um, in this place where we're stuck or drowning, but sometimes uh, modern Christianity wants to present that we should always feel good and feel happy or that the hope that we have in Christ actually um, made all of our circumstances work out perfectly and so we have no reason to ever feel down or even to struggle um, and because of this I believe there's a great falling away from Christianity because we all know that's not true Christianity just puts you in a war. It puts you in a full frontal attack, actually. So things can often get harder once you give your life to Jesus. Things can become um, a real time of trying and testing. And you're not alone if you're wrestling with... Um, I became a Christian and my life seems like all the mess is highlighting... Because there's a couple things. God can be highlighting things that need help and work and surrender to him. And also, um, there you're just in a battle. And now there's a bright light on you that says they've switched kingdoms. And the darkness is not happy about that. But um, reflecting on, am I too messy to say that I'm a Christian? Or am I just never going to represent Christianity well? Um, is something I've definitely wrestled with. I mean, I've had people walk away from me or wanting to do friendship with me um, because, I, you know, I'm always going through some kind of struggle and they like the happy bus. <laughs> they prefer the happy bus. Um, and so I've had to learn, like, can I be a Christian that wrestles and doesn't complain? Can I be a Christian that is empty, but still, by the power of the Spirit, can give out um, prayer and encouragement? And here's the truth. I have found that the power of Christ can enable me to be real, because I think it's important to be real, but not to be, to be aware that if I'm constantly draining someone, um, and just kind of walk that line that says, I want to operate in the spirit, which means I'm not going to act fake. I'm not going to act like we already live in heaven. I think we all know we do not live in heaven and it's kind of rough, but, um, there's a way to acknowledge that and be real and still be a blessing, um, and still have times where you can ask for prayer and help and then, or just take quiet time and be alone and retreat. But when the enemy tells you, um, Maybe I just make Christianity look bad or I just am, can't be a Christian because my life is messy. I just want you to know that you have to evaluate that. You want to know that you're a Christian and you certainly don't want to just be a dumping ground, a draining ground to everyone 24-7. I mean, there's wisdom. But also, we don't want to believe the lie of modern Christianity that says... Um, we have to be a window that looks perfect. We have to be picture perfect. And um, that's not reality. We acknowledge that you're a Christian in a war and this is not heaven. So what you're feeling does not mean that you're crazy. And also when people say, I don't want to be a Christian because Christians, you know, you, your life's messy. Just don't take that as a dart. Like, it's one thing to say, oh, if I've sinned against you, I've done something wrong against you, then we must, uh, by all means, make things right. We should apologize and make things right. But um, also, I've just had people when I've said, I'm going through this, this, and this, they're just like, yeah, we don't need to be getting together because I don't need any of that to be... <laughs> they just can't handle that Christians sometimes have really hard times. They kind of want to live in... And the Christians are only pretty, um, pretty people 
uh, experience and it's not reality. You're not alone and God knows that we're in a battle. God is more patient with you. Let me just say that God is more patient with us than sometimes people are. So try not to overthink um, and let the enemy take your thoughts or let other people take your thoughts that God isn't always about redeeming our mess a little at a time and he's very patient and there is a way to be empty or wrestling and still find that God gives you strength to leave a note or an encouragement for someone else or there is a way to be battling your own confusion and God can still give you wisdom to speak life over someone else that's part of the mystery that we're not in heaven we're not completely um and in, in our wholeness yet and still God says your weakness just makes a place for my strength to shine and just give him the glory for it give him the glory when you can shine even though you feel messy and don't overthink that you're constantly um, ruining Christianity because um, it's not true that Christians always have it all together and um, don't beat yourself up over that have a great day